I am back. Hello. Finally, after a couple of weeks of uh, a lot of work that I had to do for, um, well, a lot of things. There was um, extra rehearsals for Christmas, um, Christmas concerts and the rehearsals are still going on. Uh, I had to do some um, uh, preparations for Sinterklaasfeest, for Christmas, some things in our home needed to be taken care of. And I had uh, students that uh, needed to, uh, to have a voice lesson. It was, and a birthday too, birthday in the family. So it was pretty pretty busy but I'm glad to be back maybe you remember this one the fireplace from Joanna's Christmas and um, I have been doing some work not much if I had time to color these last few weeks then I uh, picked um, magical jungle the Mount Besford drawing and then I did a little bit of work uh, on that but uh, well let's uh, see if we can add a little bit more color to this uh, drawing and as you can see I have been doing some work I'm working on this uh, pot I have been working on this clock and um, the logs in the fire really need some more work, so I think I'm going to start with that. So I am going to start with Van Dyke Brown from the Polychromo series. I gave it a sharp point. Somebody asked me on the internet whether this uh, page will be finished before Christmas and I can tell you the answer is no. <laughs> I don't think I will be able to finish this because I have another page from another book that I saved for coloring during the Christmas holidays uh, so this one has to uh, has to wait but I like doing some a little bit more work on it right now I really missed uh, recording these videos but there was just no time and it was a good lesson because uh, next year I will schedule a couple of videos for the month of November and early December because that is a very busy period time of uh, year every year so I just need to schedule some videos just like I did when we were on vacation last summer.
Now I am now using this one, Raw Umber, also from the Polychromos series. And also with a very sharp point. And this is called grey number six. And I'm going to use this one to add a little bit of shading on the logs. It is uh, pretty cold in the Netherlands right now. It is uh, below freezing. It is uh, minus 3 degrees Celsius. So there is ice on the pond in our garden. The sun is shining, it's a beautiful blue sky, a pale blue sky, and um, I have to say the light outdoors is just gorgeous. Now this is how I um, um, build the color on logs and it's just, oh this is walnut brown, it's just many different shades of browns and yellows and reds and grays and sometimes even a touch of blue. It is um, Monday right now and yesterday and the day before we celebrated the Dutch Sinterklaas feast. It is um, identical to uh, I think uh, Christmas in mer mer many countries or almost identical because Santa Claus, Sinterklaas, the same name, is uh, bringing presents. And uh, I received a very nice gift. We, uh, many people in the Netherlands do not give each other uh, very big and expensive gifts, but just nice small presents. And I had a present that I am very happy with. That is this. Three new pencils of the Karandash Luminance series. You know they are very expensive and um, I am very happy to uh, have received them. And I'm going to use one of them, that's this one. Bismuth, bismuth yellow. Bismuth. I believe that is a German word, bismuth. I'm going to check that out, what it is. And I'm going to use this color 
to add a little bit of warmth on top of the log so that it looks like there is a glow that the light of the fire is shining on the log just a little bit The Sinterklaas face though was uh, very nice. There were a lot of uh, nieces and nephews and of course it is um, it is just so much fun celebrating with uh, small children. There are more logs over here and I can imagine that there is a glow of the fire on them as well. So. And let's add a little bit of shading to them too. Walnut brown. Now there is already some shadow. I already put that in. But let's add a little bit more. And an area like this is very interesting. Because if I darken the area behind this log, then this shape of the log will be more visible. Same here, and I'm going to use a darker brown. This is uh, Sepia from the Brownsville Design Series. So this is the way that I build color and um, this 
this Christmas, Joanna's Christmas coloring book is really, really a very festive book. It's a feel good book, I think. Really very nice. But for some reason I don't color uh, for a long time in it. So with the other books, The Secret Garden and The Enchanted Forest and Magical Jungle, I can color for hours. But with this Christmas book, I love coloring in it, but not for a very long time. This is Light Ochre, also from the Brownsville series. It's a very warm brownish color, almost orange. Just give this some more warmth. So whenever I feel that I'm just, I colored enough, then I just stop, switch to another book or another page, whatever. Although passion for pencils is uh, getting more and more popular and the channel is getting more and more views, this is still a hobby for me. This is just pure relaxation and joy and I would like to keep it that way. So I never force myself to finish a page. I never say I have to finish this before starting something else. No, nope. this is hobby. So I can do whatever I want. Let's pick another color. It's this one, mauve. That is a dark red, very dark red, almost brown. I'm going to put it in here. Also a brownzeal color. I know there are colorists who really like um, finishing a page before starting another. But uh, that just doesn't work for me. And I often uh, find myself uh, on a point that I just don't know how to proceed and then I leave the drawing for a while and then when I come back to it a couple of days or some sometimes even weeks later I can look at it with a fresh look and then I suddenly see what needs to be done If you look at a log, a piece of wood, then you will see that um, there are many colors in it. And every 
tree has its own colors in the wood so feel free to use any combination you like so this is what I've done uh, so far and um, I think I will be uh, coming back to this one uh, on a regular basis. I hope uh, you enjoyed this one and um, well as I said before this page will not be finished before Christmas so uh, don't be disappointed if uh, that actually is not going to happen. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, see you next time. Bye bye!